Welcome everybody to the daily presidential address. I got a bet for you guys on the Chicago Indianapolis game. Before we get into that, I want to point out that it is half price Friday over at Wager Talk. Any package put up today is half price. I have a four pack of college football tomorrow and I have seven NFL bets going on Sunday. I also think I'm going to roll this weekend. Uh, I think last Saturday was a nightmare, and Sunday I kissed my sister three and three day. So I really believe in all sincerity that I'm going to have an incredible week. On my 11 plays, I think I'm going to go 11, um, 11 plays, yes. I think I'm going to go seven and four, the worst case scenario. I also have a couple of 4% plays up and I'm on a 24 and 8 run in those plays. So guys, please take a minute, head over to Wager Talk, check out my page and get both my college football and NFL for half price. Okay, so let's get into this game. Chicago playing Indianapolis and our public service announcement first. I want to apologize to all Chicago Bear fans. Last week, uh, I told you that their offense stinks. I was right. I told you that their coach stinks. I still think he stinks. I told you that their pizza stinks. I am 100% convinced their pizza stinks. But I was wrong about their defense. This Chicago Bears defense is lights freaking out. Last year, they were the number one defense in stop, stopping the run, and they really struggled in stopping the pass. Man, they looked great last week in stopping the pass at well as well against Houston, and I think this defense is for real. So here we have a total of 43, 43 and a half, and one of these two teams have scored a grand total of one touchdown, one touchdown in two full games. And they haven't exactly been playing the 85 Bears or the Ray Lewis-led Baltimore Ravens. Let's assume the Chicago Bears, who can't score, double their output in touchdowns from the last two games combined. That's 14 points. Let's add a field goal in there and call it 17 points. That means that the Colts have to put up 25 points for this game to go over. Now, that is a big ask for this Indianapolis Colts team who only put up 10 against Green Bay last week. That is a big ask for this Indianapolis Colts team who are playing the Chicago Bears defense, who I think might have a top five unit in all of football. But put all that aside. The real big ask is Chicago putting up 17 to begin with. I don't see how this game goes over. Here is what we know. The Bears will hold teams to under 20 points per game on average, and they will score under 17 points per game on average. We know that the Bears will continue to run the ball. We know that the Bears will throw five-yard passes. We know that the Bears will need three downs to move the chains, and we know that the Bears have a light out, lights-out defense. We also know that Indianapolis is not some offensive juggernaut. They only put up 10 against Green Bay last week. How the hell is this game 43 and a half? This is a stone cold under. Take Chicago and Indianapolis under the total of 43 and a half. See you all for on Sunday. Last call. I'll be there with Gianni and make sure to buy my packages for this weekend. Half price. Thank you, everybody. Lots of love.